This episode is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Stay tuned later for more information in the show. We have a sponsor. guys to the show i have notes the show with where with where surprise people with surprisingly full imdb pages discuss everything animation creative and internal development i'm your host isa badiola and with me today is my lovely co-host i'm carrie shawcross i'm giggly today um, <laughs> i think we just start just going like imdb creative go um, <laughs> Uh, with us, we have uh, two very special guests uh, returning from last week, Aaron Wynn. And back, returning baby. from, it's been, I think it's been like two years, uh, Jordan Swears. <laughs> Hi. He's I, here. Uh, yeah. I, the gang's all back together. Into, into mixer streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, Rest uh, in peace. Rip. You really had the, the, the mixer eye racing cornered. But uh, <laughs> I just don't know what you're gonna do now. Yeah, it's all downhill from here, baby. Yeah, baby. Anyway, yeah. good to be back. <laughs> it's good to have you back. I missed you because this is like my one chance to talk to you every week. <laughs> every week. Well, what do you want to talk about? Nothing really. Oh, cool. But we've got so I'm much just to kidding. talk about. We have a lot to talk about, actually. <laughs> I'm excited. We do. There's I some. Mean, there's some cool new stuff coming out. There's yeah. some cool new stuff, but do we? I mean, we have to start with. How's everybody's week going? I mean, it's Monday, so so far so good. <laughs> or it's Thursday or Friday, depending. Oh, this is true. Oh, that's true. Week projection. Week projection. <laughs> Not. It'll be okay. It'll be. Here's fine. where we're hoping to get uh, to. I, be. I just lifted the curtain. Oh no! All, People all will know that we record on though. Monday. They are. There's no difference in the weeks. They're I all a blur. This is true. I'm like I'm trying to figure out like what I can do. To like change up my office like every day or something like i moved furniture around oh <laughs> yeah like it's hard to often tell from no like i just did it last week <laughs> does it feel do you feel like you're in like a whole new world not really i just it's easier to uh, <laughs> see the television <laughs> okay so it's like an easier world <laughs> an easier world <laughs> also i have this old chair that i bought from amazon uh that i was gonna use as my office chair and i hated it so i like oh, put wow. it away uh, i was gonna like sell it or something and never got around to it and then i pulled it out of the closet in here the other day and now my cat just sleeps on it all the time so <laughs> now it's a cat bed <laughs> yeah, so you you, you're, you bought a cat chair that's fine that's fine <laughs> I, I mean i guess yeah it's just is it, it a gamer so chair for a thing for a cat to sleep in <laughs> George, like, is it a gamer chair is it a gamer no chair? it's just this like little like bucket chair like okay. it's not even really uh, it's, not even a chair. it's, it's, it's a barely bucket. a chair it said <laughs> it would like swivel and like uh change height and stuff like this whoa, whoa. It, doesn't. it didn't at all it comes with a handle <laughs> and it doesn't do anything it's jordan oh. i think I, jordan i think you bought a home depot bucket <laughs> <laughs> is it bright it orange like and five gallons too, because uh, it has like no cushion, so I hated it. But it was like really cheap from Amazon, so it wasn't expensive enough for me to like warrant. Oh, oh actively of, selling it. Hang on, speaking of cushion. Oh, oh you got you got it. There look it at is. that. <laughs> I don't no product Obviously. placement. Here, here's the weird thing though. This is the back. It's a fart hole. Oh, it is <laughs> gross. It's so they don't get absorbed. There... Oh, God. I don't think I that's that. exactly why, Carrie. Uh, Until name there one is a better other, reason. <laughs> name one other practical yeah. application of my my butthole being exposed. Like that's like, what why it's would for. They put that there? Yeah, it prevents hemorrhoids. I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's that that in particular. Uh, now I'm just imagining somebody using that on the toilet, and it's okay. Let's. <laughs> this is the new squatty potty. After last was... week's episode, we we cannot go down the gross <laughs> yeah. path. There was um uh, that reminds me. To toilet reminds me um. <laughs> randomly i was looking we were looking at houses today and there's this one we were looking at specifically to rent and i mentioned to my so i was just like hey i only just realized the toilet has 
a wood cover. <laughs> it's nice. like the toilet seat that's troubling. where it has the wood laminate, and I'm like, that's that's mm. weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I longer in style. I don't know that I want a porous like, oh, material. Oh my God. <laughs> Ugh. My uh, in there. growing up, my friend had a a toilet seat that had a cushion on it. I was gonna ask That's about first. people's experiences with these. Gonna be honest, toilets. not a fan. Nope. <laughs> not a fan. I don't like. I don't like sitting on the toilet seat and it already being warm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Because that's what those cushion ones do. Yeah, Derek, I love you. I fucking hate your toilet, man. <laughs> no, I ain't doing it. It's it's. I want, I want that cold, sterile porcelain. Yep. Because you know, you know, it just feels cleaner. Yeah. And it can warm up with your warmth. I'll warm it. <laughs> yeah. Let me do it. I Don't think that is warm it for me with somebody else's. This is the last gross thing we're going to say. And then Issa is going to talk about a cool soccer, soccer anime. But uh, <laughs> I think that is the thing that I miss the least about being in the office is, oh, gross. you know, oh, the you know, a hundred plus people or, you know, I don't, we have like probably like 60 dudes sharing three stalls oh. Yeah. Oh, and just God, like, all don't have like any stalls. How unfortunate we have three, yeah. we had three stall we have with three stalls and two years. Well, I mean, th th yeah. And oh, seven okay. showers. That's weird. You know, you need the showers. The office <laughs> to just poop in the showers. The Duh. office used to be a gym. What are you so doing? The idiots? showers make sense that why they're there, but I don't know why we didn't convert them because we definitely need more stalls yeah with toilets than we need showers because you know what the worst okay this is not the worst <laughs> fucking thing ever no it, it is gary own it one of the worst fucking things ever <laughs> is waiting in line for the stall and then they come out of the oh, stall no. and you just look them in the eyes <laughs> i know what you did and they just give you this knowing nod that's like good luck your, your turn yeah. Oh, no. I warmed it up for you, they said. Yeah. <laughs> I've slacked somebody afterward before, and I was like, just what the fuck? This is why I don't poop at work. I make well, sometimes, sure. Sometimes. What, you, sure what, do, what do you do if you done. have to poop, though? If I have to poop? Yeah. I mean, I'll go poop, but I just <laughs> okay. don't. I don't. So you don't, I, well, you don't hold it unless in. Unless it's an emergency. It's happened <laughs> maybe 1% of the time. <laughs> I'm I'm a big believer. I, I I poop on company time as much as I can. <laughs> My dad told me about that. <laughs> you Did get paid Arena to poop. Have to install those the slant slightly slanted toilet seats to make uh. it just, un, just uncomfortable enough for you to not want to sit there on your phone. No, stop! Have Don't you, do challenge. Heard, accepted. Have you heard about these? <laughs> no. Is these that are like real things that companies are putting? Sounds like in. torture devices. Yeah. Yeah, they're putting these in in uh offices and workplaces like like walmart and stuff to like better control how much time they spend in the bathroom wasn't amazon doing it too or am i oh, just probably. making that up it's possible amazon they would stuff. if they haven't they amazon just will. just sits out boxes for you to use <laughs> they have enough home, of them. home depot has home depot buckets <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> that's true isa isa please please talk about a soccer anime uh, Captain Tsubasa is coming yes, out. Yes, <laughs> thank you. It's not just a soccer anime. It's a soccer anime game. Oh, what? Uh, oh, yeah. Nintendo Did y'all not watch the trailer? Oh, no. I, I watched the no. trailer, but it was. But to be fair, it was <laughs> not a lot of gameplay. It was there was like, not. I literally saw it. I saw it go stuff. by in I'm either in the now. anime Slack or the gaming Slack. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, anime, sure soccer. I bet I could get Jordan to look at this. <laughs> and he did. Dose. I totally looked at it, and yeah. it reminded me of uh, what did I say? Shell and show, uh, shell and soccer, and yeah. uh, Dragon Ball. So yeah, I was on it's board. Got, it's got like a very like '90s face art style. Yeah. And it's even old. like before that, like 60s, yeah, 80, yeah, like, retro, yeah. super retro looking. Because yeah. I don't know, Tsubasa. I just thought it was charming. It yeah. looks, I'm all for Captain like Tsubasa's an arcade, like... over the top version of soccer games yeah. like fifa is too much it's too simulation <laughs> too sim i want i want something crazy you want to oh, stop God. whatever comes your way sorry i'm watching this right now <laughs> <laughs> captain subas is like a very old like kind oh. of timeless anime it, yeah. it's it's 
definitely it's one of the most credited uh anime manga series that got like the country of japan into soccer um, yeah hopefully hopefully it'll be fun hopefully we'll see more gameplay soon oh aaron you have a switch now too you can play it <laughs> i do i mean i've had a switch Oh, that reminds me. Guys, I finally got Animal Crossing. <gasps> wow! Whoa, I know. Whoa. I got it as a housewarming gift from my brother and sister. Aww. So, oh, I haven't cute. actually started to play it because I'm still, like, in the process of unpacking and organizing everything. So, but it's, it's Well, it's happening. we're all over Animal Crossing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> finally, after, DLC. like, 40 years. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> so afraid. I'm so afraid because I haven't logged in in three weeks and oh, i'm just wow. so afraid that it's everybody's gonna be needs gone. everywhere all yeah, your villagers people... are dead now yeah yeah um, can starting. we i, I think have uh, in every day since the game came out just i so could just know. real quick i think mike's got it uh i just want to show off uh my new goals for my facial <laughs> hair <laughs> wait is that not mo wait, the wait, most wait a goddamn second amazing thing you've ever seen <laughs> I can't figure out what this facial hair is. I don't think you're so, supposed to. So go to go to a single on me. Okay. Um, <laughs> real quick. So if he's supposed to have a mustache that goes like this. Yeah. But instead no. it's going across his face like this. Yeah. So all of this is like shaved and it's like real thin down here and then it's just connected. It's like here. it's like he just like outlined a beard. <laughs> Yeah, it's like this is this is the uh, perimeter of where my yeah. hair grows. I've, he's I've he's like me though. Oh, there he is. Yeah. This is the fifth member of I Have Notes. Uh, some people like, like I know how... Gus talks about this sometimes, but like his hair when he's growing a beard will grow like all the way up here on his cheek. Oh, happened right. to my dad. And so he could probably you know let that grow out and then just shave everything that's not here and he'd be fine so what you're saying is he'd get that look we need to tweet at gus and say <laughs> so just make, make it happen goals see he's got goals. he's like me he's got the uh i call it the uh, the reverse hitler no oh, no. no hair everything right here except spot. that spot just get I, some I, mascara and fill it in nothing <laughs> now i wear it with um, pride you know, that also makes me think uh, that would be a really good style to have now because when you go out in public and you're wearing a mask, oh, it okay. looks like you have a full beard underneath. Oh yeah. My God. And without all the problems of like the scratchiness of the of the hair uh, rubbing on the mask. Oh so my God. amazing. The hygiene. And they'll never know what's underneath. You get oh you get all three. You get hygiene, you get sanitation, which is the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. And cleanliness. And you get style. <laughs> And that's what's important. I feel like men normally grow beards to hide a weak chin, but this man is quite the opposite. What? Like it somehow he hides shows his chin off more despite it being covered. <laughs> like it just Maybe calls the to the fact secret. that he has a very long chin and his mouth is very you high. Just have a uh, shaved an arrow, like two arrows pointing <laughs> at his chin. <laughs> I don't care how weak his chin is because his no, soul he has, is... No, he very strong chin. His like, soul is strong. I have to show off my best features. Yeah. <laughs> That's... I, I know you guys are talking about his facial hair. I'm too busy looking at how his sunglasses look like two eye patches. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, that episode of Spongebob, I'm Blind Beard the Pirate, and it's magic with two eye patches. <laughs> Any day, uh, any day oh, that SpongeBob comes up is a good day. It's a yeah. good day. <laughs> I love this man. I want I him to be yeah. like a reoccurring cast member now. <laughs> I have no idea who who the fuck it is. I just saw him in the in the. He's just in the stands. We'll have to we'll have to play the game and find out. Yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. I hope he's a playable character. <laughs> I hope he has speaking rules. Maybe uh maybe he is you. <gasps> Nintendo, hear our pleas. <laughs> If your mailbox is anything like mine, it's kind of sad 90% of the time. You got a lot of political flyers, utility bills, lots of coupons. That's actually not sad, is it? But once a month, I do have a reason to be pretty happy, and that's because of my box of awesome from Bespoke Post. I know you're wondering, Isa, why are you talking about a box that's usually made for men? Well, I say, gender is a construct. I want these things. Bespoke Post sends people the best stuff 
every month, no matter what you're into. Style grooming, barware, cooking tools, outdoor gear. Box of Awesome has carefully built collections for every part of your life. The Weekender bag was really cool. I ended up choosing the mixer box because I think some alcohol is actually kind of nice during these trying times. <laughs> So to get started, take a quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box for you. And they release new ones every month across a ton of different categories. So it's free to sign up. You can skip a month or cancel any time. Each box costs only $45, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. Get 20% off your first monthly box at boxofawesome.com and enter the code IHAVENOTES at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code IHAVENOTES for 20% off your first box. Thanks, guys. Um, speaking Put of interesting art styles. Oh, yes. That's my segue. Oh, yes. Hey, this is a good segue. Good job. Uh, they, uh, we just got some stills for the new Ghibli film. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it looks different. Very different. I'm going to go to the record saying, I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, but yeah. I can also understand how maybe it doesn't look very Ghibli. Um, yeah it took me a while like the first uh in the article we were looking at um it showed like very i guess just like character driven shots like the main character some of the secondary characters i guess and at first i was like eh but um at the end of the article it has like a full like promo full color much more interesting to look at sort of yeah. like poster or pinup i'm mm -hmm. like okay i'm sold on this I think it just kind of took me a minute to get used to those first yeah. few images like put me off but for, it's, i'm uh, interested for those who maybe haven't seen it yet it's um it almost looks like uh avid children's art style where it's it's uh or to me at least it's just it's it's these you know uh anime classic anime proportion characters but with more realistic shading Mm -hmm. um yeah, they look cg they look very clay like to me yeah um, yes almost uh yeah figurine yeah especially um, with the way the hair is yeah the hair is got a lot of interesting stuff going yeah. on i don't like that one of them looks like howard stern but <laughs> <laughs> you're right you know cool we'll can't see. see that sorry <laughs> <laughs> that's all i'll ever see now they're very fun though <laughs> they also give me like slightly older uh team rocket vibes i think it's oh, the yeah. hair color oh yeah mm, yeah yeah, yeah. He, they kind of look like for it. they look like they have a like a silver the the howard stern looking dude uh uh robert robert firm uh he looks like he's got like a, a silver pokeball on his wall on his belt oh my maybe God. it is them. i have to look at it again yeah david blunt <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so. I don't know. it looks uh it looks interesting. It's uh, I think, yeah, uh, I, mean, I, I think for for them to foray into like this 3D style is gonna be really cool to see. And I'm I'm glad it just just doesn't look like everything else. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I liked about Spider Verse, like taking chances mm -hmm. and doing breaking new ground on on style and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we need more of that. Yeah. So um, if there's any you know studio to trust with with a look like this, it's probably Ghibli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ghibli. Oh, I don't think we said the title of the movie, did we? <laughs> no, it is uh, a doing a long for an adaptation of Diana Wynne Jones's novel Earwig and the Witch. Yeah. So and they're they're it's titling it Aya and the Witch is the English Aya. translation. Okay, cool. yeah. Or Aya or Aya Tol Majo. Yes. Uh, um, if you're into that kind of thing, I can't I can't look at it right away. Uh, Are your eyes okay? But is is that the same? Well, I mean, I would Google it. But is that the same author who did um, Hell's Moving Castle? Because yes. I know they were it's talking about uh, doing another okay. one of her yeah. books. Okay. I believe so. Yes, Diana yeah. Wynne Jones. Issa's um, giving a firm yes. <laughs> it's interesting if you look historically as well, uh, Japanese um, 3D movies. Uh, it's only the past uh, five to 10 years yeah. that they really started not, uh, I guess, embracing is a word to use but maybe more utilizing mm -hmm. um full seat full 3d in the same way that the i think the way that they've always done 3d is always still trying to make it look um 2d because that yeah. was or 2d the regular 2d hand-drawn animation. it's such a popular done. style it's, yeah it's yeah. it's been as like a auxiliary to mm -hmm. uh, yes. sorry to interrupt you yeah no it's uh i think 
uh, an easier bridge for, to get to yeah. um, between audiences and the Uncanny Valley. And it's only recently that they started doing something similar to like what Pixar has been doing for years here, mm -hmm. which is um, fully stylized character designs mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. like 3D rendering lighting without lines. Um, so I, I'm kind of curious. I personally don't know if they're actually going to adapt the story well, but I think it'll be visually really good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's all their movies, though. <laughs> <laughs> if like, if it doesn't, if it doesn't hit on storytelling, you, at least you. Yeah, at least the it style. looks cool. Yeah. At yeah. Least yeah. It's pretty. <laughs> it's. Uh... I mean, that's you know that was Hell's Moving Castle that I oh, talked yeah. about oh, a yeah. couple of weeks ago. Yeah. No comment. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it reminds me a lot too of the the loop on the third movie. I was about to say, I'm very you excited know, for that yeah. movie too. Yeah, and it's also it's the very, very dragon, similar art style. The Dragon Quest movie. Oh yeah, that is on Netflix. I need to watch it still, mm. but I'm very excited for that one also. Yeah. Carrie, are you excited for the two new amiibos? <laughs> uh, Jordan, I'm like, I'm making space on the shelf. <laughs> you can't see them very well, but that's what those like, side, like the port, the vertical shelves are. It's all my Smash Amiibos. Did you um, did you watch the uh, the direct today or I, the showcase? I okay. This is the, how shitty of a person I am. I uh, I was working on something. I'll talk about in a second. Um, but I was working on something last night, and I was like, man, I'm tired. You know what? I'm just gonna wake up a little early, and uh, I'll finish this up. Like you know, fresh start. You know that helps me a lot sometimes. And uh, I woke up, and I, you know, I casually ate my breakfast. And I sat down. I was like, all right, time to get some more. Oh, smashes. <laughs> That's live, huh? And I just clicked on it, and I just watched the whole fucking thing. <laughs> okay. And then I worked. I just uh, love I love how uh, Sakurai did the uh, reveal, where he was yeah. like, you've been wondering about uh, the Joker amiibo. Here it is. And he, like, holds it up. It was on his, like, table in front of him. It was, was, was like, it was behind a plant the whole time. <laughs> Well, no, that was Hero because he was like, oh, was that's like, right. I, I, and so logically, Hero would be next. So you're probably wondering when's that coming out. And then he reaches over behind a plant. And that's <laughs> right. Hero. I love it. Well, he did that too with. Uh, uh, there's Fucking something else he put like back behind a pillow. Oh my god. <laughs> it was very like I love Sakurai so much. That's so he's, yeah, he's so a big old dork. <laughs> we should he's do that a, for like the next hero. panel. Yeah. <laughs> He, uh, my favorite thing about it was they showed his living room and mm -hmm. he, uh, he's the person that has now let me know it's okay to be 25 over 25 and have two TVs in your living room. He was like, like you might no notice I have two TVs. Sometimes I like to watch things while I game. And I was like, Whoa. me too. That's like I some do big that. brain energy. I would have never thought to do that. Just stuff that you can absorb on the peripheral. Yeah. <laughs> Cole Cole talks about um his little sister and how he's like she's the coolest person I know because she has like five <laughs> monitors running and she's like playing a game on one monitor and she's watching like Twitch and other YouTube videos at the oh same time god. and I'm that like oh Monty, god she's man. such a zoomer <laughs> <laughs> yeah I guess, I guess Monty was he was the trailblazer because he would always have yep. something running he would like he'd be working and then have like his like stream of like cool anime clips going. Yeah. And then over here he would have Lord of the Rings commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just, just be absorbing all of it. Yeah. You just like, he'd be doing something and he all of a sudden he would stop and then like rewind a little bit. <laughs> hmm. And oh, then go cool. back. Like, yeah. <laughs> that that's really interesting. Awesome. Yeah. It's uh, I have like, there's certain things I can't do that with, but as much as possible, I try and like always have something going on in the background mm -hmm. just cause it's like, ah. There's not enough hours in the day. Yeah. We have to we have to go beyond. <laughs> Is that working for you, Carrie? It's I mean, you know, I'm tired, but yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, the thing that I was working on. Ooh, tell yes. us. Uh, uh, I have notes. Breaking and a breaking announcement. <laughs> um, uh, we just started writing a uh, volume nine. For what the fuck? Oh my god. Jesus. And... <laughs> Jordan, it's gonna be okay. Jordan. Jordan's about Wait, to fall out of his chair. Jordan. It's gonna be okay, Gary. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's uh it's June. It's the end of June of 2020. And we're working on volume eight and volume nine. It's a it's a Whoa. good feeling. It's scary, it but it's good. Um Man. yeah, so uh uh Exciting. I was trying to finish up a script this weekend. Uh yeah, but then Smash Brothers happened. 
and then Smash Brothers happened. So uh, <laughs> Volume Nine uh, officially delayed. Uh, it's Sakurai's <laughs> fault, but that does mean that Ruby is going to be uh, the eleventh uh, DLC character. Um, <laughs> so it's all worked careful out. Careful about yep. just saying yep. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard I, it here first. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I, I'm gonna. I was gonna say I'm gonna stop doing this, but I'm gonna keep doing it. We did a uh, <laughs> two weeks ago on Talk Ruby to Me. I made I a joke. This. Yeah, uh, Joe Mac was our uh, our uh, like uh, camera lead was talking about uh, 1917, um, which I haven't seen yet. I just I saw a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, and then they did like a big like one shot kind of thing, and I was like, oh yeah, you hear it here first, uh, Volume Eight, all one shot, and uh, uh, obviously it's a joke. Just gonna pause on that for a second. Uh, but the Ruby Twitter account tweeted it out and was like, "You heard it here first, everybody!" And the number of people that were like, "Oh my oh. god, it is!" Oh. Oh that's god. that's gonna be amazing. So then, of course, I doubled down and said, "Yep, it is," because uh, no. I thought, "Oh, I'll double down. I'll pull. I'll pull the old Eric Bedour. I'll just like really <laughs> lean into it, and then people will understand that I'm joking." Uh, and then the first two things that happened after I double, like I doubled down on it, were two people quote retweeting me saying it's true, <laughs> and I was like, oh no, what have oh, I no. done? So I had to be like, it was a goof. I just goofed everybody. I'm sorry. Oh no. Uh, I know. Now that's, when the volume comes the out, they're gonna be yeah. like, I can't believe Carrie Shawcross lied to us. Yeah. That bastard. He it's, gave. A, he said he was gonna give us one continuous shot. It is. Lied. It's one continuous shot. If you just imagine that every cut is a character blinking, <laughs> and they blink and it goes to the next thing, and they blink and it goes to the next thing. That's how immersive we are. Wow, um, Aaron, I can't stop watching your cat. I was just she's gonna just going to town. It. Are we yeah, gonna have to blur that? Herself. No, it's not her butthole. It's her belly. She's just real mm -hmm. fat guys here. I'll censor it. Wait. I'm pretty sure if I started licking my own belly, we might we would at least talk oh, about really blurring hard. it. Oh, oh, okay. She that's got very it. cute. She got it. She's good. <laughs> oh my god. Cooper, but, you're gonna get me canceled. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble. Stop, Pooper. But uh the cops come knocking on my door. <laughs> yep. Official thing you can quote me on. Volume nine writing has started and we're excited. Yay! Yay! Congrats, Carrie. Volume eight, at least two shots. And two, at least. Yeah. There you will be there will be at least let's say three shots. Breaking that's it. That's way. That's <laughs> just keeps coming. Do, 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 do. We'll see. <laughs> um, but that's all I really brought uh, to talk about today. So nice. I'm kind of I'm kind of done now. <laughs> that's it. cool. Carrie, well, thanks you, for you coming. Bye. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, my cat's on here. Oh. <laughs> He's sleeping. Oh. I was gonna say, show your cat. Nah, I don't want to. It's look. How would you feel? If you were napping peacefully and a yeah. giant lifted so. you into the air. <laughs> I feel like I, I would feel complain. Good. Yeah, I mean, I want to tell myself I would be very upset, but I think that would also be kind of dope. So <laughs> I will gladly welcome a giant. <laughs> there, there he so is. There's there he is. That's me. Somebody, uh, somebody Photoshop a giant. Yeah. Lifting Carrie. Yeah, right there. there you go. Yeah, I'll just get you Whoa. you lifting. Yeah, me. put I'll put like, Carrie oh. in my hands here, please. A attack on Titan. <laughs> It'll Sam will have it as the thumbnail before the episode. <laughs> before He's like, oh fuck, oh fuck. Here it comes. I got it, baby. I keep like I keep looking back and forth. I'm like, where is he? Just, just waiting. Any minute now. Do uh <laughs> Do we have any other maybe internal things we want to talk about? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <gasps> wink, Looks wink, honk, honk. at Isa. I have a show. It's Yay! Out. Oh. What's it called, Isa? It's Give called... us all the deets. <laughs> it's called Recorded by RSL, and it's being released July 13th. Whoa, oh, that's so that's soon. So, that's so soon. Whoa. Uh, yeah, kill. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm so excited. I am also excited. Yay! I'm happy because it's mostly done, but I <laughs> think wow. it's mostly done. Uh, all the animation has been has been done for months, um, but oh, now nice. it's kind of putting together all the final bells and whistles. Uh, but my current, when you were asking, was like, "How's your week?" and I'm like, "Oh man, I've been um, having like this consistent anxiety stomach for the past week." Oh no. 
No. Uh, it's partly, I think it's a lot of, I, I understand now Carrie kind of, uh, Carrie and Jordan too, um, like the whole like stressors of being showrunner, of like preparing all this material. Um, and especially since it's like the first time, you kind of like, you feel like you really want to do it right. Um, and there's a lot it, of appearances. It's okay that you won't though. <laughs> yeah. <Jordan. laughs> there's nothing um, wrong with that. <laughs> thanks. Or you could just be like me and just don't prepare. And then you can't fail <laughs> because you did your, you didn't show up exactly. <laughs> also, I'm the only non showrunner here. Feels bad, man. So <laughs> far, so, so far. far. Well, watch Whoa. out! Dun, dun, dun. Breaking news: <laughs> do, 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 do. Aaron coming out with the show right now. <laughs> As a cat okay. with a big old leg. <laughs> it's it's a uh, like it's all about a weird beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's our hero. He uh, yeah. he runs a cat grooming business. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he uses his own tongue. <laughs> well, that's why he has all that bald spot around his mouth. The cat yeah. Cat, you know? He like scratched it off. Gross. <laughs> or he just kept looking around that part. Gross. <laughs> Sometimes um, when when my beard is like still growing in and it's like kind of scratchy, I'll like rub my face on the cats and be like, "Is this what it's like to get groomed?" <laughs> Is this the same? My cat will just like he'll just like rub his face like on my chin like over and over That's again. Horrible. And I can't. I feel like I'm being used, but I'm like <laughs> okay with it because it's a cute cat. It's cute. Isa, awesome. is there more you can you can tell us? Or there's probably is there a trailer coming out? Um, what is it going to be? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. No trailer. Okay. Um, so the with recorded by RSL, it is a short. Um, we call a prelude series to a story that um, my co-developer Josh and I have made before. And uh, it's short format, so it's less than five minutes, and there's only four mm -hmm. episodes. So really, have fun making a trailer out of that. That's very <laughs> fair. <Yep. laughs> just so, well, watch the first episode, just, there's your trailer. <laughs> I mean, just to be clear, this is me saying this and not and not easy. Just, just fucking watch it. <laughs> it's short. <laughs> just watch yeah, it. It's true. Like, it's, it's very true. low commitment. Yeah, just yeah. go for it. Issa's amazing. Watch it. Support oh, Issa's true. show, and Thanks maybe we that. make more, more show. Mm. That's how it works. If this is the prelude, <laughs> that means there's a lewd. Wait. <laughs> there's a post lewd. No, it's, it's a different. Jordan's it's, face. It's, it's spelled different. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's lewd, but it's L-U-D-E. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about that post lewd. <laughs> I'm done now. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm really excited. That? And we should we should keep talking about it. And again, I'm saying this is not Issa. I would love it if you watched it and shared it because I think Issa is really great. And I'm really excited for people to see this. And because I want there to be more because I, I know about more. And it's oh, interesting and fun. Uh, thanks, Carrie. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. We like we like trying new wild. things. Yeah, it's 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 wild because this is also like coming right at um uh what is it right in a an awkward personal time because I have to uh find a new place to live soon and it's just like oh god no. everything's just like coming down all together and yeah. I'm like it's fine yeah. it's okay hey if That's... I can do it you can do it too thanks we finally made it a new spot new place <laughs> no and crusty old here's man. He... here's do you want to know <laughs> do you want to know sorry. my uh my trick for how I deal with uh, the like the day an episode comes out hmm. so you don't get as stressed. Tell me. Here's what you do. Ready? Okay. So let's say the episode comes out at 10. To, oh, well, OK. This is easier for me because it's the weekend. But because Ruby comes out on Saturday normally. So what I do is I set an alarm for 20 minutes after the episodes come out. So that way people have watched it by the time I go to look at the comments. And I look at the comments for two minutes and I make sure the episode's not broken and that nobody's saying it's the worst episode that they've ever seen. <laughs> and then I go back to bed. <laughs> and then later in the day, I go back and I'll read through some. I'll go like, oh, cool. Or, oh, that's a good point. And then I don't look at comments ever again. <laughs> sometimes. Hey, that's a good approach sometimes. to it. That's what I try to do. And then sometimes I spiral. But... uh for oh, the yeah. most part. I know yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually what I do is 
I just go full into the spiral. So I open, oh, no. uh, I <laughs> open the, the website for uh, Rooster Teeth comments, uh, subreddit, yeah. look at those comments, Tumblr, look at any like tags and posts. And like, if it's on YouTube, open YouTube. And then when I'm done looking at all the new stuff, I just go back to the first one and then go through no, no. the site, Reddit, Tumblr, YouTube, <laughs> website. Jordan. <laughs> oh, no. Jordan, it's... That, that's what I do, too. I was trying to lie to her. <laughs> I was trying to get her to not do because, that. <laughs> because Camp Camp would come out on Fridays and just watch me do that <laughs> yes i would i would see it was you you talking about that kind of triggered me back into like my seat in the office and i would look over and i'd be like oh jordan's on tumblr and then i'd look over and go oh jordan's on reddit it would make me think maybe i should check out the comments too oh, oh jordan's crying <laughs> oh maybe he's smiling they're tears of joy <laughs> oh no now he's sobbing <laughs> It actually turned into my well, fun fact that ended up turning into like a good team building exercise between our teams yeah, that's because good. Um, Jordan would post a funny comment uh, mm -hmm. onto one of our Slack channels uh, where we have the team uh, on with us and then they'd start also looking for other comments and it would be yeah. really fun. <laughs> That's we true. like looking for like positive comments or like kind of uniquely positive ones and then ones that are kind of weird. Our favorite <laughs> ones were ones where they spelled uh Neris's name differently oh, yeah, every no. time. <laughs> we compiled all of the different like Neris misspellings. Yeah, there was like <laughs> Norris, Norris. Norris. <laughs> Norris. 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 Uh there's one R. There have yeah. been like two S's, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, have you they ever always change like the a, vowel. Um, Sometimes they swap the vowels. <laughs> have you ever gotten like a Maris with an M? Probably. Well, probably. <laughs> Statistically, yeah, it's it possible. Seems likely. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah, that was actually, I was the one that did that. Congrats, I just couldn't thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's, uh, I think it's going to go great. Uh, me too. There's yeah. always going to be negativity, but fuck them. Yeah. Speaking of that. I was curious how y'all as creatives dealt with either online criticism or hate quote unquote, um, like how you deal with that. And like, yeah, that's my question. <laughs> Ooh. I, I think, I think there, we can there, safely there, there's, say there's, there's quite a we've all gotten there some. Yeah. <laughs> criticism can usually be helpful and constructive. Mm -hmm. And it gets you to think about something that maybe you didn't think about before and something you mm -hmm. want to apply to the future. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably the best you can hope for. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that's not going to make you feel good, but it's going to be like, well, at least, you know, moving forward. Yeah. And then there are the comments that are just like, its sole purpose is to make you feel bad. Yeah. The unconstructive yeah. It, it criticism. It gives you nothing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can even call it that. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, I hate this show. And the people who make it yeah like that doesn't tell me anything you just made yeah. me sad i yeah i i i don't know i still don't have a good answer yeah. after yeah. after all hey, these years i mean fair. like i mean like yeah ser like serious answer is like i like i do try and read as much as possible um i typically i don't watch a ton of videos just because uh i just don't have a lot of time but i'll try yeah. and read like you know summaries and stuff um but I mean, it's like it's like Jordan said, it's like I think you got to take everything and kind of file it away. And uh, mm -hmm. the, the the tough thing to do, but I do feel like it's important is even the ones that are hypercritical or I mean, just just mean because there, there are people that are just mean is like mm -hmm. still trying to understand like where they're coming from and why they got to that mm -hmm. place, you know, yeah. or, you know, why they have that thought, even if you yeah, think like, it ooh. is nitpicky or don't agree um because even you know even if you're still happy with your decision knowing that somebody took it a certain way or took it the wrong way or took it a way that you didn't think that you, they were going to is still helpful yeah. um but i mean i i also uh I, I don't know that i've ever met a creative person that that didn't get bummed out by stuff still yeah you know oh, definitely. yeah i don't yeah. know i don't, I don't about... think you're human if you're like oh just gotta <laughs> A death threat that doesn't bother me in the least yeah. bit like uh, mm, <laughs> i don't think people like that exist so yeah i think being bummed out by comments like that is a totally rational and normal 
feeling. I I like I think the way that you're looking at it or the way that you had described it, Carrie, I like that if only because I think uh that sounds like the harder route to take because you to me it sounds like you're still trying to be empathetic um Mm -hmm. throughout kind of this like hurt i Mm -hmm. to me and i i would prefer empathy um Mm -hmm. or the empathetic look versus kind of just stonewalling yeah dismissing it yeah Mm -hmm. and it Um, is it is hard (laughs) Yeah. Yes. You're, yeah. That that's yeah. the hard route for sure. Well, well, it makes it a little easier to process because, like, there's the initial like reading it and being like, "Oh, well, this makes me feel bad." And then if you do take that extra step to be like, "Well, why? W- why would they write this? Like, mm-hmm. what is it? You know, with either like this person or the content or something that you can kind of like reach some sort of understanding to to give it some sort of value mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where at the service it maybe doesn't have value I, I mean um, okay. no, you, you, uh, <laughs> classic classic we're just such home. good friends <laughs> i hate it thanks Lisa, go first I'll, first I'll go um i think that's also something it it's easy to try, I think, and put logic um, or try to understand, to me anyway, what other people are thinking and at least like to talk about it. But I think, too, there is that um, dissonance between your mind and your heart. Um, mm-hmm. And it's something I'm actually I'm still working on as a person and like with my counselor is is kind of like why I understand why someone would say this. And I understand even in just like regular life um even if it's just a criticism towards like uh how i'm thinking at the, at a certain like personal aspect even not as creative but uh i can understand if that's still parallel to um online criticism or hate is like i can understand maybe why someone would say this but i still feel a certain way and mm-hmm. whether or not it's like well do you accept that do you what do you do about it like you have all this like energy now so mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they've given you like a, a basket full of emotions, and you're just like, what, what do I how do? How do I with hold these? all these emotions? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like, man, what am right. I supposed to do with it? I, I will say to you, I mean, there are there are like periods of time, or like that. There, there have definitely been, and I don't, I don't remember who they are at this point because it's been so long. But it's like there, there, there will be times where I will notice like a single person being consistently. Like maybe they did have some good points to them, but they're being consistently mm. rude about it, yeah, um, or mean and toxic. Yeah, and I yeah. as there's a certain point, I just went, it's not worth because I, I take I take that stuff seriously mm-hmm. um, because I I want to be better, but you know when when every comment is, you know, why did you do it this way? Which is very valid. Mm-hmm. You you you're a terrible creator. It's like okay, well, if I read if I'm reading that every day. I'm just going to mm-hmm. perpetually be in a funk and not mm-hmm. be able to actually improve. So it's, I'll just, I'll just mute people. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I the, like after a certain point of like, it's, it's like, okay, it's clear. Everything you say is going to have something mean behind it. I'm like, okay, yeah, well, some, I just, some people I don't, don't want to be satisfied. They want to, they want to be hypercritical. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. It's, like, it's, you know, unhelpful. It, it, there, I think there are just some people that this is what, that's what they enjoy to do is like, they enjoy, yeah. Being, no matter what, like trying to poke holes in something. Mm. Like, yeah. And, you know, I, I can't stop them from doing it. I I certainly would not spend my time doing it. I, I got one time I tweeted, like, I don't understand. I think I've talked about this before. Like, I, one time I, I tweeted, I don't understand why people, you know, watch and and hate on things so much if they don't like it. Yeah, like hate hate watching hate something watching. just yeah. to be like, oh, I hate this so much. Oh, this yeah. part, <laughs> this part's so stupid. I hate it. Yeah. And 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 I got a lot of I got a, a lot of flack because people were saying I didn't want criticism, and I, I didn't even like. There's respond. definitely a difference. Yeah, the, it, there is, and I just like I like if 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 it is if if it is a hobby of you to look at something and and pick it apart, then go for it. I just like I can't do that. I would so yeah. much rather take all of that time and just put it into making my own thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. than than making I just I just can't like I'm I'm at a point and I have been for a very long time it's like if I don't like something I just go oh, okay well I'm just not gonna watch that yeah. all right yeah. Cool. yeah and then like I just like I move on you know and I'm not saying people shouldn't 
criticize our stuff. I think they should. Mm -hmm. But um, also, like at a certain point, like if you don't like it, this is this is true for everything. Yeah. Like, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. Stop torturing yourself, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If it's and that I, awful. I think I think there's also a way to go about it and presenting mm -hmm. like what you dislike or what you wish was better, you know. And usually, when somebody comes in, just very aggressively and rudely it's like nobody's gonna listen to it. it's like it's like that line in the big little basket it's like no you're not wrong you're just an asshole yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah like that's why we don't like you yeah, yeah. it's I, not because the points you're making are invalid it's that you're just, just an a, asshole <laughs> i think there's actually a pretty interesting um discourse about around this as well that you guys just reminded me about where it's like if people i think the idea of it is that um the concept of boundaries mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. i think when you present yourself online um and when something is available online like that the co boundaries just kind of don't exist anymore yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah um and it's not to say that uh we're putting up boundaries uh we love our community of course and mm -hmm. rooster teeth um the company that we all work at is based on that community um of uh like friends and people and networks that we've met along the way um but that it is kind of like that boundary of like do you know you're actively hurting someone uh or yeah do you know like that there this? are people behind yeah like mm -hmm. what you're directing at yeah yeah like like we all we are all people <laughs> so yeah. when you say something like you you are stupid or something <laughs> <laughs> or some dumb tweet <laughs> You know, the, the person you're, you're tweeting at is reading it and they, they are a person. Yeah. And I feel like it's a very easy thing to, for people to forget. It's very easy for people to assume that anyone who's like worked on something and has like put it out there for everyone to, to consume is somehow like, uh, immune to like, mm -hmm. Uh, hate or like vitriol or something and i don't mm -hmm. really get that and i feel like it's it, it it affected me to a point where i had seen like people who had created other shows like you know like rebecca sugar and stuff and you know get mm -hmm. get certain like attacks and stuff from people on twitter where i wanted to be a little more detached from mm -hmm. uh the optics of what i'm working on like i'm still very much involved a hundred percent and like you know guiding everything and it's it's all of me in there but i don't want people to watch it and be like this is such a classic jordan thing mm. oh oh jordan who i uh you know a hundred percent analogize with mm -hmm. the show i mm -hmm. like you know this is so classic him so yeah. that's why like i try to like not be the face of a show and let the show be the show but right. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I mean, there's the a, solution a right is wrong answer, like, you're, really. Yeah. I, the thing that stinks is like on, cause I, I'm, I'm right there with you. I, the, the flip side of it is to, you know, to talk positively for a second, like the number of times at a convention or just on Twitter or on our site or anything like that, that somebody said to me, like, Hey, like I started writing animating drawing mm -hmm. whatever because of you and your show mm -hmm. um and that's like incredible and that's yeah, like that's the that's the best thing yeah that's yeah that's worth it you know and, and like if if i have to get shit on to yeah. to let, to let that happen too like so be it yeah. just because it's like you know i think i mean that's like that's what i liked about you know rt before i was a part of the company is that like i watched it versus blue but like, I, I I could not tell you if I've seen the first five seasons more by themselves <laughs> or were watching the commentary. Yeah, oh, you know, like like I used to. Like, I, made you feel like you were there with the guys and one of them. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, and it's like I like that's what that's one of the things that like made me want to get into this industry was like going, oh, there's something I like, and they're the people that make it. They're mm -hmm. normal people. Like, mm -hmm. I, like, I want to be like them. So it's like, you know, I, it, by, I've struggled with the same thing, Jordan. And sometimes I have just like, all right, I'm just not going to Twitter for a couple months. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, just because it's like, I, all it's going to do is prevent me from growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that's what's, but there's, um, uh, 
for I haven't finished it yet, but for any any readers out there, um, uh, Eddie uh, Eddie Revis, one of our uh, co writers for Ruby, um, he recommended this book to me called uh, Big Magic. It's by uh, Elizabeth Gilbert, who did uh, Eat, Pray, Love. Mm. Um, oh, I think and it's you all... mentioned this. Did I? I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't know. Maybe you told me privately. I can't remember. I can't, Sorry. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. No, no. I, 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 we may have talked about it before, but it's 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 a lot of it's it's her talking about her creative process and how how to be brave creatively mm-hmm. and how to you know you know for like like she doesn't say this directly, but basically like tell the world to fuck off and I'm gonna make my own thing and. Mm-hmm. You know, if you don't like it, you can go make your own, but I'm going to yeah. make something that is special to me and right. represents me right now. You know, it's a, right. uh, um, she puts it a lot more eloquently. She's a, a novelist. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like that's how I approach a lot of criticism personally. Mm. Like yeah. I also have the luxury of not being a showrunner. So when people sure. uh, criticize my work, it's mostly in reference to like character designs or just like anything visual. Mm-hmm. Um, but my approach is usually just to be like, like, eh, if y'all don't like it, like, I mean, feel free to make your own. Like I've seen plenty of like Ruby redesigns that are super cool. Um, yeah. And even then, like if there's like one example was like when John's hair for volume seven was shown yeah. and everybody's I like, I hate this fucking I, banana boy. And I it's can't like, believe you did that to like, John. I know, I, <laughs> I fucking murdered this, this poor innocent child uh, and turned him into the sex god he was meant to be. Exactly. Uh, anyways, I kind of make it a joke. Like I, yeah. think I even made a Twitter post about it saying like, with every like, I will pluck one hair off of John's head. <laughs> um, just stuff like that and like, <laughs> this was criticism we got like right when we released him and then once the mm. show actually rolled around people just either seemed to got used to it or they just didn't care anymore yeah, so yeah. sometimes it seems like criticism isn't that big of a deal in retrospect yeah. it's just kind of a uh, wave you have to ride yeah definitely yeah. And but like, in that moment oh, you lose a night of sleep like the biggest deal yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah and like i know like uh i value everybody's like comments and criticisms mm-hmm. but there's definitely a point where i'm going to uh maybe favor some comments over others just yeah. because of the people behind them maybe that's kind of asshole but if like a 12 year old who maybe doesn't have the most character design experience is saying well, i think john should have a bigger dick or something like that <laughs> um, <laughs> but have you thought about that aaron hey I mean, i'm not funny story like, i'm not 12. <laughs> oh shit but well, yeah, no, like, to, i mean to be clear i gave the note to make his package smaller <laughs> I also did. You yeah, did too. Yeah. yeah, we did. I was like, you need to kin kinify him. He's too, he's too bulgy. Too much bulge. But anyways, <laughs> like, I'll read these comments, and they're sometimes from really young fans, and I appreciate them. But it's at the same time, like, well, I've had. I feel like as an industry professional, like, mm-hmm. I appreciate your comment, but I'm going to respectfully disagree. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So it's and, just and... that's how I deal with them usually. But again, I do have the luxury of just yeah. doing art mostly well, and it's like, like it's like okay oh, cool. i was just gonna say like we, we were talking about a lot but like criticism in general is not the worst thing mm-hmm. about no about doing mm-hmm. this like mm-hmm. and and even if it if it was it's totally worth it for all the all the benefits you know yeah, like definitely. that's something you know not everybody always focuses on is like the positives and stuff but like carrie said when when somebody is like inspired by our work or something then you know that really makes all mm-hmm. the other shit worth it all like even like the late nights and stuff you know like we're, yeah. we're just trying to put ourselves into something that like inspires other people so yeah you know, i gotta say too fun. like it uh it took me a really long time and this is this is talking more like internal criticism like amongst mm-hmm. peers and stuff like mm-hmm. it took me a really long time to turn the corner on wanting feedback yeah and like recognizing how good of a thing it is mm-hmm. like i i used to to you know dread and i still get anxiety over it but i used to like dread when i get like feedback on scripts or like when i would send like a, an export to isa or something and be like what do you think it's just because it's just like i i'm like i i'm so worried about all of the things they're gonna say and like what mm-hmm. you know what if like the whole thing's bad? Like I like, uh, it's 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 funny. Like even uh, uh, Miles and Eddie both like said something really nice to me afterwards because they could oh. tell I was nervous. Like even with this like this volume nine script I was working on, I was like, yeah, hey, here's the first draft. Let me know what y'all think. You know, and like always, like if it's just terrible, I can just rewrite it. Like no big deal. You know, <laughs> it's just because it's like I was. But now 
I'm so happy to get feedback. Yeah. It's so great. Of, yeah, I feel like in this industry, you need to definitely be more than willing to accept feedback. I don't think you'll get far if you don't personally. Yeah. It was yeah, you it was hard you, at the beginning. You can't mm -hmm. throw the first thing out there and be like, what do you think? And they're like, well, I think, you know, this, this, and this could be better. Maybe if you focus more on this and then you'd be like, you just don't understand. <laughs> right. My, you, my vision. you don't understand my, my vision. vision. And then you're like, yeah, Hornet is like, <laughs> I'm like right. <laughs> <laughs> there definitely That's... is that like, um, you, you do have to, at least from my experiences, it's the idea of, uh, trying to understand that the work is not you and you are mm -hmm. not the work um and even if the work is so personal to you mm. uh i.e recorded by rsl which i always tell <laughs> everyone like it's just a giant self-insert everyone um, <laughs> even if it's not if it's you or if it's like if you think it's you it's really not and mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and also there is an argument for the other part of that death of the author xyz we can go into literary theory all we want but um oh. uh, i'm too dumb for that <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day um if if you can successfully like separate your yourself from your work and just be like well that was just old me maybe new me can be better mm -hmm. be even yeah even they're all way. just versions of of you you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like s season one of x-ray and vav is a totally different person <laughs> who directed that than than i oh, am yeah. now like, <laughs> okay. 100%. Yeah. i think every personality artist and, and like experience yeah <laughs> yeah i think every artist and creative should and uh definitely want to like continue to grow like i mm -hmm. don't think you should ever be satisfied with where you are mm -hmm. so yeah. that's why feedback is so important yeah don't yes. be afraid it's just, of it it's a snapshot of where you're at and mm -hmm. you know you're gonna mess up and you're gonna look back at it and go like yep I wish I've done it differently. Or even as the episode's coming out, you know, you probably knew for like two months, like, yep, I wish I'd done that thing differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but also sometimes you just need to move on and mm -hmm. you just apply it to the next thing you do. Mm -hmm. I think I feel like that's like it. Uh, I mean, it, this is like my personal opinion on a lot of things. And obviously it has like boundaries to it, but it's like it's uh, talking more about like, the creative field. Like it's it's one thing. It's one thing to make a mistake. It's another thing to make that same mistake a second yeah. or third time. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, you yeah. know, if you, if you, you know, make like a, a, a like a, I'm talking like story stuff or, you know, yeah. like shot composition. Um, but like, you know, it's, if you're repeatedly messing up and people are telling you, no, 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 don't do that. And you're still doing it and you're just being obtuse about it, then mm -hmm. you should feel bad. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I, I feel like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I also don't want like, I'm sure I'm sure there are things that people have told me not to do anymore. And I'm still doing. I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> this is all perspective. I think you're doing great, Carrie. I appreciate it. I'm going to record that and play, play it. back. Oh, put, every, put, put it as your every, new like, uh, soundboard. <laughs> yeah. Aaron says, think... Carrie's doing great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> really awesome. I think the, the big thing that we could all take away from this is just like, oh, we just criticism is good, but we also mm -hmm. want to learn. And if mm -hmm. there is nothing to be learned from critic from this particular <laughs> thing and it's only just hurt feelings then just got a deal <laughs> yeah i'm a person just, I'm yeah a person. if you're gonna post something salty like just just maybe think twice you know like <laughs> you don't have to tag us <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah just subtweet yeah just subtweet <laughs> yeah that's fine <laughs> i've never i've never done the like tweet deck just like have my name up running like i, oh, I don't do that no that's like ugh, i could never i never even yeah. thought about doing that I you do need to have, like... have some more self-love like that's too much <laughs> yeah I, I can't yeah oh, that's that's a little rough people who go that far need to tone it down a bit yeah <laughs> for your own sake <laughs> well thanks for the cool question aaron i think that's yeah. Really... yeah i hope, good, I hope good no starter. aspiring artists or creatives are like intimidated like i feel like Everybody and anybody, if you have something cool to show on, and you want to show it online, you should like definitely go for it. Like, mm -hmm. the internet can be scary, but it can also be like a really cool place. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope that helps. That was great. That was a that was a good Topo Chico. Topo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> oh, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>
Awesome. Uh, well, actually, that kind of wraps up our show. Awesome. <laughs> wow, that Watch wrapped up nicely. That wrapped up. Oh, so nice. Watch <laughs> the show or else. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to I Have Notes so you guys can watch out for the next episode. Thanks, Carrie, Aaron, Jordan, and me for appearing. <laughs> <laughs> we appeared. And so most importantly, so me, Isa. <laughs> <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> and most importantly, our new fifth member. Our new fifth member. <laughs> give it, give a round of applause. Oh no, where is he? What should we call him? We have to, we have to figure out what his name is. Stash oh, yeah. Chan. Stash. Oh, there we go. That's a really good soccer name. That's a really good. That's good. Yeah. I said, I said Stash Chan. Oh, Stash, Stash Chan. Chan. I heard Sebastian. My cat's name is Sebastian. I was going to call him like, Sebastian. His name is Sebastian Viola. I know. His name can be Sebastian the Stash Chan. <laughs> We're I done. Like Stash stand. Done. Stash. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs> bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>